We want to consider in brief overview some terms and ideas useful for the study of history. Historiography concerns itself with the evolution of historical narrative over time. To illustrate, we examine two contrasting interpretations, Frederick Jackson Turner's frontier thesis and Patricia Limerick's counter-argument. Each presents a distinct narrative based on their individual perspectives and analysis. Knowing the change in the narrative over time informs us about the changes in our own society, as well as giving us a better understanding of the context of each author's work. Ontology refers to an implicit organization of the world and its inhabitants, a collective, often unarticulated understanding of societal structures and norms. It is essential to grasp this concept as it underpins the viewpoints from which individuals and historians alike interpret events. Ontology not only applies to historical eras, but also individuals in a personal way. Each of us possess a unique background and set of experiences that shape our understanding of the world. Learning to detect the ontological framework of historical actors will also enable us to better consider the motivations of our contemporaries. Here I will introduce two less commonly encountered terms, Historicity 1 and Historicity 2. These terms are not widely utilized in the historical disciplines. I appropriated them from a particularly insightful book about how historical narratives are produced titled Silencing the Past, Power, and the Production of History by Michel Rolf Truyot. Historicity 1 denotes the actual sequence of events that transpired, while Historicity 2 represents the narrative of what is claimed to have occurred. Clearly, these are not synonymous. The former is factual, whereas the latter is subject to interpretation and bias. Consider a hypothetical football game as an example. One team emerges victorious over the other with a score of 31 to 9. Fans of the winning team will narrate the game as a triumphant event. Conversely, a fan of the losing team would likely describe the experience as disheartening. This divergence illustrates how the same event, Historicity 1, can yield disparate narratives, Historicity 2, shaped by one's ontological perspective. The focus of the historian's work is to be found in the tension between Historicity 1 and Historicity 2. Continuing with the concept of ontology, we must also recognize that, as individuals, we each have our own set of biases. Keeping in mind these perceptive ideas shows the historical project to be more complex, and also more interesting, than just the facts. Finally, we want to differentiate between primary and secondary sources. A primary source is an original, uninterpreted document, such as the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration is what it is. It is not an interpretation. In contrast, a secondary source offers an interpretation of a primary source, akin to a scholarly book exploring the Declaration's content and significance, such as Pauline Meyer's The Declaration of Independence and Constitution of the United States. Over time, certain documents, like Turner's thesis, may transition into primary sources, while contemporary analyses, such as Limerick's work, serve as secondary interpretations. In the next module, we will begin to consider the narrative of U.S. history beginning in the latter part of the 19th century. Please proceed to answer the questions in the assignment on Canvas. If you have any questions, you can post them in the open forum discussion or contact the professor using Canvas email.